Welcome back, everybody. Yep, we're happy to be here in Lebanon, Illinois, just 30 minutes from St. Louis. And when you talk to people here in Lebanon, they like the historic feel of this city. And the one thing that screams history is this brick street. Everybody is really proud of the brick street. The city carefully maintains it, realizing that it is a draw to the historic shopping district where Ty and I are hanging out this morning. It's survived decades of concrete and asphalt paving, creating a historic feel for Lebanon. Look carefully and you'll see some of the bricks, though, are chipped and some are missing. So they have applied for a grant to make repairs. I believe we're at around $2 million, if I'm not mistaken. And money well spent. Extremely well spent, yeah. This is sort of the heart of our community. People don't realize it, but it really is. It's, it, it's so unique to our town to have a brick street. There was a lot of effort to overlay it with two or three inches of asphalt, but the uh, cooler heads decided that it would be better if we went ahead and tore out all of the old cobblestones, the center of concrete, and redid it with what you see here now. Yeah, originally, originally it had cobblestones and they replaced it with brick. And in the center of the street, when they were replacing them, you'll notice two lines of darker bricks. Those were added to show where the 1903 trolley tracks used to be located. The trolley would carry passengers from St. Louis to Lebanon. And many wealthy St. Louis folks built weekend or summer retreat homes here in Lebanon to get away from the pollution of St. Louis. And I can tell you there's no pollution here today Unless, of course, you count our breath, Ty. John, you're a real St. Louis treat. You know? That's right. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got the, the mayor here, uh, Sherry Wright, and Superintendent Amanda Ganey joining us now to tell us more about how special Lebanon, Illinois is. And good morning, Mayor. How are you doing today? Good morning. Doing we great. Appreciate you joining us. And when you see all these people, the business owners, the superintendents, the people who frequent this business come out, how does that make you feel to see the support? Lebanon supports everyone they they are very tight with their town very very community oriented it makes me feel great and when we just heard john talk about the bricks and you see the bricks why is it important for you to stay on top of these bricks and make sure or be a part of making sure they're okay because if you don't maintain them they will break they will right. deteriorate. <laughs> and then big event coming up uh, the holiday christmas the, the victorian, victorian christmas. holiday is coming up uh friday the 17th for two days uh I believe it opens at 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock on Friday and then uh, in the afternoon on Saturday. What does that mean for the economy here in this town? A lot of people, this has been a, a tradition coming to the Victorian holiday. So they bring their families, they have dinner here, they, they do all the activities and it's a family event and it's a historic event for Lebanon. And we have the superintendent here. Thank you, Mayor, and thank you uh, for joining us, superintendent, getting up early on such a short notice. But <laughs> you guys have just been recognized at one of your elementary schools. Yes, yes. Uh, Lebanon Elementary School uh, just received the distinct um, national award for Blue Ribbon for closing student achievement gaps. How does that make you feel to see your schools stepping up and making it happen? It's amazing. Um, in fact, I've only been doing this for five months, so oh. to be able to step into this opportunity with the school district has been truly amazing. We have amazing educators for our students every day. What are some of the things you look for to try to implement in your students as we move into changing times and there's sure. differences, but you want to keep the kids focused and prepared? How do you guys do that? It's continuous. We have to remember that education is continually improving. Mm -hmm. We, um, at the top, all the way down to the bottom, we all have to be ready to change mm -hmm. and to educate ourselves for the betterment of our students and the greater good. We're going to give you a chance real quick to shout out your staff and uh, the rest of the people at the school district. Do you want to give them a message real quick? Lebanon LCUSD9, I am so proud to be your superintendent. I am proud to be in Lebanon and I am proud to be a Greyhound. Great work. I'm proud to represent you. All right. Go Greyhounds. Yes. We were wondering where Timmy Zell is and we said he's around here somewhere. What do you say we travel over to Tim and see where he's at in Lebanon, Illinois, in your neighborhood. 